Okay. First, we're going to make uh, an invisible folder. Just put stuff in. Um, on a regular keyboard, hold down Alt, A L T, on your keyboard, and press zero one six zero, and then it'll make a space. I'm on a laptop, and I can't do that right now, so I'll just put a uh, quotation. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. See, that's pretty good right there. Make sure you don't have any of those. Just put that. Okay. Now you go to properties. There you go. Change the icon. Find these blank ones. Okay. And it's almost invisible. Pretty much. Except that. But on yours, if you do hold down out 0160, it will be completely invisible. Just don't, like, lose it. <laughs> um, okay. Now, what you do is go to start and click on, oh, mine is right there, but yours will probably be in accessories. Notepad. Now first, uh, what you do is t you write a basic program. It's like writing a program. Okay. It, you save as. There's the one we just made. And you save as, uh, Dot .bat is very important. It defines the kind of file. It's going to be a batch file. And that's a program file. Now here's one I've already done. I'll explain it. Just pause it or whatever. And copy all this if you want to do it. Um, okay. At means it won't show who sent the command line. This Only this command line. Echo off means you no longer, it won't show who sent any of the rest of the commands after this, all this, etc. Okay. Echo shows whatever comes after it as text on the screen. Pause uh, lets the reader, lets the victim of whatever program you're going to make read whatever is after echoes. Uh, if you don't put null, it, and you just put pause, it's gonna say press any key to continue. But you put null, and then you put press enter to delete it, or whatever. And you still have to press any key to continue, but you specify a key here. Do all that. There's another pause null. Now dir will show dir slash s it will show all your files that you have on your system um, and it'll run them across the screen pretty fast make it as long as you want it so make as many as you want msg makes a little pop-up window asterisk is above the 8 you press shift 8 and it'll make a pop-up it'll say whatever you put after that right here now, make sure you save as, and I'll just put it on desktop, whatever, dot, bat, very important right there, bat, save, now there it is, double click it, that's what pops up. Oh, uh, Monica's my mom. Just okay. Your computer crashed. Just got pumped. These uh, MSGs are really fun to do because they'll automatically pop up right after another, so you can make really annoying ones like this one that I've already made. You can do some like that if you want. Okay. Now 
to make it more realistic because sometimes people won't click on that rather. What you do is you create a shortcut. You rename it. You can rename it whatever you want. Just make people fall for it. Same thing we did with folder. This one has a little more. Uh, it's a little bit different, more options, but change the icon. That's okay. Okay. Now you can choose whatever little thing looks like games to you, or whatever is more appropriate to whatever game or whatever name you had on there. I should put a little star. And there. There it is. Now it's pretty believable. And you just double click it. And it'll be full screen. Right here. Wait, where is it? You go to options and it'll and you click full screen and it'll automatically make it full screen. I don't I think mine was automatically like that because I've made some before, but you might want to make it like that. Yours might be just regular window. And it'll just run like this. You can have uh pretty good fun with echoes. Just echoes. And I've made some like oh no never mind don't have it here uh but you can make it look like the matrix and you just like edit and just make sure you always put echo off and just put echo. And just randomly put numbers across the screen, etc. But you can make it whatever you want. Oh, well if you want to make one like that, and you don't want to have to sit here and type a bunch what you do to make it keep going forever what that go to a and that's just pretty much sense it just go in once it echoes this it'll go down go back to a and it'll echo all that and for the colors you can change it on the icon would you make just go to colors and you can pick the matrix colors or whatever uh that's it for now i'll make some other tutorials for y'all uh thank you and leave some comments